Hey guys, Dr. Amir Pare here from the Thinking Palette. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are going to be painting an amazing subject. We are going to be painting these beautiful bluebell flowers in watercolors. Let's get started. We are ready to paint these beautiful bluebells. I have taken these paints from Sitaram Stationers. They are the Botanica series from Sonnet. You can use them. We start with using these azure colors and the ultramarine light. These are the primary blue colors where we are going to be using. And of course we are using the Sitaram mop brushes. They have four brushes so you can use whatever size is comfortable for you. We are primarily starting with this, uh, you can see this wet on dry kind of a technique. And then while the paints wet, of course we are adding another layer of blue which will allow the colors to blend easily together and we will get a nice gradient. We are first painting all these beautiful flowers in the background we, that will kind of act like a wash layer and then of course we we'll add a lot of color onto it so, so far i'm still using only the one color i, I read the, the two colors the you know light and dark uh, blue if you want to call that but of course it's the azure and the ultramarine light so here we did the wet on wet and you saw how i dipped some paint down and that gave me this beautiful gradient again okay the as long as it's wet on wet, the color is just going to spread in the area wherever the petals are still wet. Since a bluebell has maybe around six you know, petals which are kind of opening up, you can use that design. Another great idea would always be, you know, since you're looking at the reference photo, is to kind of, you know, see the composition, how you can make it more interesting, how you can keep the dimension of the flowers in all directions. By doing that, you'll find that the picture automatically gains much, much more, you know, energy. It looks better. Have you all been enjoying so far? I'm sure you all have. You all can, of course, pause the video, finish, catch up in case you think it's going a little fast. Now, if you have another shade like a cerulean blue, or of course, you can just use the azure <coughs> and you will get this kind of, uh, you know, a slightly greenish color. You can add the sap green or the emerald green to the blue as well. As you all saw in the lower half of the you know paper, it kind of looked a little empty. Even where I can see empty spaces later on, I'll maybe add some flowers so that it looks more you know interesting. Keeping the stem in the center, taking the darker emerald green mixed with a little bit of ultramarine, so you get this darker shade of blue and green combined. What I'm doing is just making the leaves now randomly so that it again to add more interest to the composition even though that's not really present in the original reference. Now my fun part, splattering. I love to splatter usually on my watercolors because it adds a new element and makes it very very interesting. After the first layer has dried, we can come to layer it with the next layer. In this case, I'm of course using the violet light and the violet deep combinations along with maybe a little bit of azure and ultramarine light. With these petals, what I'm doing is giving it a little more dimension, giving it a little more depth. Some areas I keep lighter, some areas darker. Looking at the reference photo is a great idea in order to see where you should, you know, get the details in and where you shouldn't. Of course, we're doing a loose interpretive style, so you don't need to be very, very precise. But see to it that your flowers look like flowers, right? So as you can see, I'm using the violet, a little bit of water to kind of just define the petals and get more depth in. Now the center bluebell which is there, which I just painted right now, is where I can see a definite distinction in the front area and the inside. So I'm kind of creating that depth. So it looks like the bluebell is opening up downwards. You can make as many flowers as you would want to, but don't overdo it that the composition looks messed up. This is just me adding my finishing touches, some more splatter of course, to add more depth and interest to the painting. Finally, we finish with these stamens and you know, the pollen, whatever it is. So the, you know, stamen from the plants and that's it. So I hope you really enjoy the video, you learned something. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like button, share this video, 
don't forget to subscribe on the channel click on that bell button for reminders because we have some amazing free content that's coming up we want all of you to learn and of course create amazing artwork signing off i'm dr amay parekh see you in the next video